All right, so my buddy hit me up and was like, hey, I found a cowbell. Do you want it? I, of course, said yeah, because who could turn down a free cowbell, even if you already have, like, 20? But I've had this idea that I wanted to try out, so I have this other cowbell that I've used before that would be perfect for some experimentation. So the first step is to strip off all the paint, so I globbed on some paint stripper, let it sit for about an hour, and it came right off. I kind of forgot to do the inside and there were some speckles here and there still, so I gooped some more on and let it sit. Now I have a nice clean bare metal cowbell. It honestly looks cool like this, but I still wanted to go a step further. There's this technique where you can plate steel with brass, basically. I say plate, but I really don't know how this works or what you even call it. But I thought I would try it. You heat up a piece of steel and then go over it with a brass brush and the steel starts to look like brass. Well, I tried it and it didn't really work. I think I needed to get it hotter, but I thought I would ruin the sound if I got it too hot, so I kind of gave up on that. So at this point, I realized I had all the junk left out from those symbols I patinaed recently. So I tried that, but that doesn't work on steel. So instead, I mixed up some vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and salt to make some Rust Juice 5000. squirting it on and letting it sit for a minute this is what it looks like already you can see a difference but i let it sit overnight and this is now what it looks like it does look really ugly and not the good ugly but thankfully that's just the caked on juice and it washes right off
So I kind of like how it looks. It's not exactly what I was expecting. And even with the brass, I know I said it wasn't really working, even though now you can see that it did kind of work. But when I was doing it, it was so hard to get it even looking. It was taking so long that I just gave up on it and went with the rust. But even that didn't really go how I was expecting. I've used that rust technique before and it will immediately rust up a piece of steel. But on this, it kind of just like etched it and made it feel scratchy. There are some rust spots, but it's not as crazy as I was expecting. So I'm starting to wonder if this is some weird alloy because I don't think it's plain old mild steel. But as far as the sound goes, it did dull it out some and definitely isn't as bright as it was before. So before I wrap this up, if you check out the description of this video, there's a link to a drum set maintenance and repair course that I filmed while I was over at Drumeo. It's totally free to watch. All you have to do is put in your email and they'll send the link straight to your inbox for you to watch and enjoy. So if you wanna see how to keep your drum set looking good and sounding good, as well as learn some common repairs to some common problems you'll find on drums, then it's definitely worth checking out. So again, links to that are down below. But as always, let me know what you think about this project and which one you like the best. Did you like it stock, bare metal, or all crusty and rusty? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.